to cancer victims who use the popular weed killer Roundup. Dwayne Pullman first investigated Roundup's connection to cancer three years ago. Tonight, he has new details on that settlement and reaction from one of the victims. Like I said, this is the first time I've heard about it. I'm excited to know it's another step in the process. When I got a hold of John Vickery, he knew nothing about the historic settlement that was just announced. We used to spray all over this area. Vickery, who worked at the City of Hamilton's Public Works Department, sprayed hundreds of gallons of Roundup. In 2006, he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, forcing surgeries at UC Medical Center that removed his right lung. Like tens of thousands of other cancer victims, Vickery blames one product, Roundup. Obviously, it's not safe. I mean, I can show them the scars on the side of my chest. It's a bad product. In an interview with me three years ago, Monsanto disputed those claims. Does the main ingredient in Roundup cause cancer? No, Dwayne, it doesn't. While Bayer, the German company that acquired Monsanto two years ago, has insisted Roundup is safe, it just announced this settlement of more than $10 billion to pay an estimated 95,000 lawsuits filed by cancer victims. The agreement also sets aside $1.25 billion for future claims. Those close to the negotiations say cancer victims who sued will likely receive payments of up to $250,000. John Vickery, who filed his lawsuit three years ago, says his medical bills alone exceed that. Are you concerned it may not be enough? Well, I'll have to wait and see, you know, what my, what my lawyers say. While Bayer reportedly considered pulling Roundup from store shelves earlier this year, the company's settlement announcement states the extensive body of science indicates that Roundup does not cause cancer and therefore is not responsible for the illnesses alleged in this litigation. Does that concern you? Well, yeah. Obviously, they know that it's a bad product or else they wouldn't be willing to settle. And they're still spraying this on our food and, and people are using it in their yards. But Bear won't have the final say. The settlement includes an independent panel of experts to determine once and for all whether Roundup's main ingredient is a carcinogen. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.